Hey everyone, it's Robert from On My Turntable. Hope you're having a great day today. It's a wet uh, Monday afternoon. Um, haven't done many videos in the last couple of days, that work thing happening. Um, but I thought I'd start a new series and uh, start it today. Um, I want to call it uh, Albums um, to Discover. Um, I don't want to be forceful and say albums you need to listen to. I think that's already been used. I see it on uh, Twitter all the time. Or albums you need to discover, or uh, just <clears throat> albums um, Albums to discover, I think, is a good one. And what I want to use is, uh, I've listed all my albums on uh, Discogs, um, my complete discography, and it's got a cool shuffle feature. So I thought I'd uh, hit shuffle and uh, see what I come up with and then do uh, not necessarily a review, but just talk about the album and the and uh, uh, what I like or don't like about the album. And um, the first one I can't show you because I've already shuffled it, but it happened. Uh, it landed on this amazing album here, uh, "The Low Spark of High Heel Boys" by Traffic. Uh, this is a great, great album. Someone had put a sticker on here, um, an old price tag. But uh, yeah, what a what an amazing pick and an amazing album. I've been listening to it quite a bit. Um, there's the boys there, and uh, it's got that uh, odd corners off cut uh, kind of an illusion. Um, so when you look at it, it looks like you're looking into a cube type of thing with the uh, checkerboard bottom. But man, this one blew my socks away. Um, and it's <laughs> uh, it's a 1972 release, um, uh, The Low Spark of High Hailed Boys, um, six songs, uh, 40 minutes and 39 seconds of amazement. Um, of course, featuring the great Steve Winwood, piano, organ, guitar, vocals, um, on uh, I think four of the tracks. Uh, Jim Capaldi, who was a drummer on their previous album, um, John Barleycorn Must Die, which is another great album by Traffic. Uh, they brought him up front to uh, co-lead sing. He sings lead on two of the tracks, um, a little deeper voice and uh, good rock and roll sound. Um, then you got uh, Rich Gretsch on vocals and bass, or sorry, violin and bass, Chris Wood on flute and sax, uh, Jim Gordon on bass, on, on drums, I'm sorry, Jim Gordon on drums, and Rebop Kawa Ba on percussion. So uh, they go from a three, uh, they go from a trio on this album to a uh, uh, six-piece um, set here. Um, so Dave Mason, just just some history of the of the uh, uh, of how they got to this stage. Uh, Dave Mason, who I've got a couple of his albums, is an amazing artist on his own. He was the, uh, one of the original members of Traffic. <clears throat> but he wanted to pursue a solo career. And um, so Winwood and Cavaldi uh, were left to uh, collaborate to create um, the album John Barleycorn Must Die. Um, it's, got, it's a great album with jazz elements, some folk and some great woodwind work. And I hope it comes up in, in, the, uh, uh, in my shuffle to, uh, to talk about that album. And it will, I'm sure, eventually. So they created that album, and then um, uh, they uh, almost um, almost uh, didn't. Um, they almost broke up, basically. Um, when Mason was in the band, they were more pop and rock oriented. Um, the album here, The Low Spark of High Heeled Boys, became more um, um, progressive. 
But after Mason left the band in 1968, uh, Steve Winwood uh, moved to become part of Blind Faith with Eric Clapton. Uh, they were together for one uh, album and then they broke up. So uh, Winwood started work on a solo career. So he called uh, Jim, Picol uh, Jim Capaldi and um, Chris Wood, uh, previous members of Traffic, to help him collaborate. Um, and their, co their collaboration was so good that they reformed Traffic again. And uh, John um, Barley Corn album came out. It was quite successful. And then um, it gave them new life again, Traffic New Life. So they added um, uh, Rick Gretsch on bass and Jim Gordon on drums, and the rest is history. Um, the uh, six-member band um, gave them a bigger, fuller sound, and um, hence they created Low Spark of High Heel Boys, which is definitely an album to discover. Uh, it's a mixture of jazz, progressive rock, classic rock, it also highlights, Steve Winwood is a multi-instrumentalist for sure, but it also highlights his amazing guitar work. He is a damn good soloist. <laughs> I was mildly surprised, pleasantly surprised, on how good of a solo artist he is. Man, he's a great, great, uh, great, great artist. Uh, I, always, I always know Steve Winwood as a, as a uh, keyboardist, organ, piano. He can uh, he can take a lead lead and take it uh, a lot of places. So six, six straight, sorry, six great tracks on the album, um, uh, and uh, I highly recommend it. I highly recommend it. So it starts off with um, "Hidden Treasure." Uh, it's a great track that uh, starts off almost like a Jethro Tull song with a lot of flute and just that progressive. Um, in the woods feel, uh, acoustic feel, uh, and then it slowly builds and slowly builds. It kind of takes you away too. It's kind of a dream song that takes you away to different places. It's, it's just a remarkable uh, song. But the initial beginning sounds like a tall song with the, with, the, uh, with the woodwinds. Of course, then you have uh, Low Spark of High Hill Boys, uh, 11 minute uh, opus that um, starts off very slow and slowly builds. Even in the, in the beginning, you can barely hear um, the song, and then it builds and builds and builds, and crescends into this awesome jazz and funk, and it's a jam session, basically, for 11 minutes. Um, it's a, uh, uh, it has been a classic rock staple, Maybe not the whole 11 minutes, but man, uh, it's 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 one of the greatest songs out there, I think. <laughs> it's just remarkable. Um, Light Up or Leave Me Alone, the next song. Uh, it's a rockin' tune. Um, got a humble pie feel to it. Jim Capaldi um, uh, sings lead on there. And again, great guitar work by Steve Winwood. Uh, I watched a, and I shared it with Jim, uh, with Jim, I shared it with uh, Glenn Calloway, uh, a later version of, of uh, um, a couple of these, these tracks, and, and uh, um, man, again, Steve Wooden was just remarkable. Um, rock and Roll Stu, another great rocker by Capaldi, um, uh, he's, he delivers a great performance, he's a great singer. Um, kind of glad that they brought him from behind the drum kit out to the front. Um, again, another smoke and lead by, by Winwood on this one. And then the album closes with a couple of, uh, of quieter, more acoustic um, tracks. But um, again, powerful tracks on their own. Um, Many a Mile to Freedom and Rainmaker. Um, both awesome songs on their own great flute work throughout a really great progression throughout this, both songs and uh, uh, remarkable so definitely an album to discover uh, Traffic um, The Low Spark of Ayuha Boys 
check it out. Discover this album. Discover Traffic if you don't know Traffic. I'm not, and I know a lot of you do, but man, great, great album. Anyway, um, also just to show you that I have shuffled the next song. And I'll just quickly show you to you. So I'm trying to keep, I'm going to try and keep these videos down to about 10 minutes or so. And I'm at 10 minute 25 right now. Um, but here's Discogs. And uh, it's got the shuffle on it. I've got my tracks listed. And the shuffle came up with a great, great album that I've always wanted to review here and talk about. Again, these aren't reviews, but I want to talk about this one. Um, this is Babe Ruth, First Bass. So there's the next album I'm going to be talking about, and um, and then I'll show you at the end of that video what my next shuffle is going to be, and uh, I, I'm going to be surprised because I don't know what's next because I've got all my uh, my CDs, my albums, and my box sets all listed as one. So whatever comes up, um, it may be not one of my favorite tracks or albums. Uh, it may be one of my most favorite and. Uh, We'll go from there. So thank you so much. Uh, glad to be back. It's been a couple of long days of work. I still have another day left before a, a day off or so. But um, I miss you guys. And we'll talk to you again soon. Take care. Bye-bye.